All right, this is um, a type of unconventional, I mean, creative weapon that I've designed today. And it's designed based on a type of weapon called a batslath. Uh, for those of you who don't know, a batslath is a type of weapon used by the Klingons, which is a race of aliens in the Star Trek movie series. And this is essentially a scout down an asymmetrical version of that. Um... So what it is like essentially is that from this end all the way to this end is going to be roughly a foot long, 12 inches long. And it's got a handle here, a knuckle bow here, a butt spike here. Um, it's got one single concave edge just like that of a sickle. And this part is the blade. So... Oh, why is it designed like that? Because it's designed mainly as a close combat weapon um, for a close, I mean, like tight environments such as trenches, tunnels, and indoor places inside houses. And it's designed in a way that is particularly effective in downward chopping and, I mean, especially tearing types of cutting motions. That's why it's overall is curved forward and the the edge the edge uh sorry why is it so hard to pronounce the edge is concave like this and it will be great for i mean close quarters because also because of this the butt spike so you can actually use it to punch uh somebody and create like really nasty damages with this, it, it works in the same principle as the butt spikes or as the spikes on the um, handles of like World War I combat trench knives. And you can see there is a point here, so it can also thrust. Um, the point is uh, roughly similar to that of a karambit, which is single-edged and is... At a curved angle, I mean, forward-facing curved angle. And in order to lighten the weight of the blade, I added a fuller here. So it's not going to be overly heavy. And for the handle here, the, ha the entire thing is meant to be made from a single sheet of steel. And the handle is um, meant to be riveted. Uh, it's meant to have a full tang, a full width tang, I mean and is held together by three rivets. That's really typical for a lot of, I mean, not just modern, but also historical knives. And another feature that you may notice is this hole. This is not a hole for the rivets. It's a hole for attaching a lanyard or rope type of thing and this can be used in a lot of like different ways. You can use it alone as um, just like a combat knife or a, a sword alone. And you can also use it in pairs. You, you can dull wield these because they are relatively small in size. They're not overly big. They're not um, something that's really long and they are going to be relatively light once it's like ever made real. So um, dull wielding a pair of these can be um, quite a good idea, especially when you're fighting against multiple opponents who are all trying to like get to you at the same time. And another way that I, that it can be used is that it can be used just like a buckler or a shield Considering that it's in a similar size to a historical buckler of the late medieval period, so you can use this in one hand and hold a sword or an axe or a mace or any one-handed weapon in the other hand and just use it together, where this is going to play a more defensive role, mainly as a parrying device um, to blocking your opponent's weapons. Yeah, it does have some offensive capabilities, even when it's used together with um, 
a sword that is much bigger than this. And as you notice that I've draw, drawn this black um, dashed line right here. What it is for is that anything from the right side of the, the weapon can go inside a sheath or a scabbard. What will the sheath be like? Um, it's up to you to decide. I haven't designed a type of sheath for it. Um, and the other side of it will be the the side that's exposed when when you're like wearing it or carrying it with with this part in the sheath so you can still easily index it and draw it out quickly once you need it um besides being used as a weapon it can also be used as a type of bushcrafting or survival tool um it can definitely be used to cut things considering that it's got an edge and this butt spike here can also be used to crack open glass windows or it can be used to crack open frozen um, rivers, the ice, so you can make holes on it for fishing and yeah, things like that. Um, it will also be quite great at batoning. Um, you can hit the blade from here with a with a baton and then split firewood with this with the edge here. Um, it will be quite handy as well. I mean, in such a situation, and it's not as easy to carry as a conventional knife because this bit here is much wider than the normal width of a a, a typical knife blade, even for like wide bladed knives like as wide as cleavers the ones um they're still gonna be a bit narrower than this so um yeah it can definitely be worn on the side of your hip just like a regular knife a, a camp knife but um it will be a little bit more awkward considering the broad blade um, so Will it be good for like modern self-defense? I'd say no, because it's not concealable, all right? If you want something to be effective in modern self-defense, it needs to be concealable. It needs to be not too obvious when you're carrying it or wearing it. Um, but for self-defense in a historical context, for back in the days when people still wear swords, that will be really handy. Um, so what will it be like once it's made real in the modern day? It will mainly be an, an item of novelty. It will mainly be something that, um, like people who are interested in weapons will buy them or make them and test it, test it out themselves. Or maybe it's just for something for fun, just like uh, some modern axes that are designed specifically for throwing and yeah it will be mainly an item of novelty at the end of the day if it's made in a modern context but uh, in a historical or a fantasy context it would have been much more useful um it doesn't really look like anything historical that i've known of but it will still be great if you're using it as a prop for a certain character in fantasy situations. Um, for example, they will be quite suitable for characters like elves. Uh, that, that's what I think they will be good for. Um, and that's pretty much all I have to talk about this weapon. Thank you for watching.